What's up, everyone? It is time for a biggie. This right here is my review of Dune Part 2. The story focuses on Timothy Chalamet's Paul Atreides as he works with the Fremen to get revenge against those who destroyed his family. While on that mission, he sees a horrific future, a fate he'll have to try to prevent by choosing between the one he loves and doing what he thinks could best serve the universe. As many of you know, with a movie based on popular source material, I do like to take a moment to provide a little bit of background at the beginning of my reviews. In this particular case, I have read Dune, but I've only read it once and it was many years ago, so I do not consider myself an expert. Also worth noting here, I really liked Denis Villeneuve's first Dune movie. I was absolutely in awe of the craftsmanship on display in that film and was also very taken by the weight and thrill of the story. But that was a highly scored movie for me that wound up with an even higher score after multiple viewings. And I have a feeling the same is going to be true of Dune Part 2 as well. Just like with the first film, the craftsmanship on display in this installment is staggeringly impressive. I want to take a moment in this review to highlight the work of three departments, but before I do that, I just want to stress every single department involved in this production is delivering top-tier work. Okay, the first of those three, Greg Fraser's imagery in this movie is truly astonishing. He's delivered a lot of really great work throughout his career, but I guess it's the back-to-back -back one, two, three punch of Doom Part 1, The Batman, and now also Doom Part 2 that has me more convinced than ever that he is a true genius at his craft. Doom Part 2 is basically one stunning frame after the next, and even better, his shot composition always enhances the atmosphere of the locations in this film, in particular Arrakis. If you're wondering what it might be like to live in that terrain, I really do think that the work done in this movie brings you as close to that as you could ever imagine getting. Another big contributor to how successful the movie is at giving the viewer that sensation is the sound design. As an example, right at the beginning of the film, you get shots of people running across sand, and I am a big believer that it's the sound design that ensures that you feel it, that you feel the challenge of trudging through the sand. There's just countless examples of that throughout Dune Part 2. Examples of time when the sound is so good that it ensures you feel that particular sensation. Another sound highlight I really want to point out is the choice to remove the score and only have sound design for a particular fight, which I just thought was an absolutely brilliant, highly effective decision. You all know how great Hans Zimmer is. Had they opted to score that particular fight, I'm sure he would have crushed it. But I do think the music-less approach, especially with such exceptional sound design, was the way to go. It ensures that the viewer feels every blow and also very much feels how dire that particular one-on-one -on -one fight is. But again, Hans Zimmer is exceptional. I love his score in this movie. I believe I had a similar reaction to seeing Doom Part 1 for the first time. His score for the film rattled me to my core. I could practically feel the vibrations of the lower tones in his work, and I found that that just really imbued the film with this really great weight and gravitas. So impressed by his work yet again here. Jumping into the story now, and you could probably see on my face and hear my voice that I'm about to criticize a little something, but I will stress the script here is very good. It's just a lot, and I had a similar reaction to Doom Part 1 as well. There's just a lot to take in here in terms of Paul's evolution, the new main players that are in the mix this time around, and also the additional layers added to the state of the universe. I am extremely impressed by how clearly all of that information came across, but sometimes I do find that I am better able to appreciate the nuance of a story like this on a subsequent viewing. I was very swept up in the ride the first time around, but it is an instance where I expect that ride to get even stronger on a second, third, fourth, and beyond watch. With the characters now, I do understand why they're this way, but sometimes I did find that the coldness and the sternness of them created a little bit of a disconnect between viewer and them, or at least in my case. But that is also something that I suspect could change on subsequent viewings because I was pretty sure that I could pinpoint certain things the actors were doing that signaled to me they were struggling striking the necessary balance between, I guess I would say, heart and duty, depending on the situation that those particular characters were in. 
Someone in the ensemble, though, I think really shined in this particular respect, though, and it was Zendaya. She just always well maintained Chani's intensity and the fact that she's hardened herself to power through these impossible circumstances, but while letting some heart and vulnerability bleed through in just the right way at just the right time, and it wound up turning her into a really accessible anchor in this story for me, which is something I didn't expect. I'm so impressed by her her work in this film. Also, I have to note that I could not take my eyes off of Austin Butler in this movie. Everything he is doing as Fade Ratha is fascinatingly chilling and just magnetizing. Score time now. I am giving Dune Part 2 four Deweys out of five on the Dewey Decimovie scale. This is exceptional blockbuster filmmaking, and it's also exceptional IP filmmaking, and I really hope that studios out there take note. You hire a filmmaking wizard like Denis Villeneuve, who surrounds himself with some of the best of the best this industry has to offer, and you put trust in that team, and you are more likely to produce high-quality results. And in this particular case, I think we're about to see those high-quality results get rewarded for how damn good they are at the box office. And isn't that what we all want? We want art, and it's a business as well. See, everyone wins. More things like Dune Part 2, please. <laughs>